Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making barbecue chicken in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker. This is a request from one of our viewers, Alicia Lynch. I'm going to show you how to cook it on both pressure cooker and slow cooker mode. So come on and join me. Let's get cooking barbecue chicken. We're going to start by adding a half a cup of water to our inner pot and then adding our chicken breast right on top. We're going to need about one to two pounds of chicken which is about three to four breasts. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic, a half teaspoon of salt, and half of a sliced onion, but this is purely optional. Fred and I love a sliced onion in our shredded barbecue chicken. And if you've been hanging around here for a while, you know I love a good star of the show. And this half a cup of Italian dressing is exactly that for this recipe. Or maybe it's this one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know. I hope you try it and you help me decide. If you do, make sure to leave a comment in the comment box below. And now the real star of the show, our barbecue sauce. Because what would barbecue chicken be without the barbecue sauce? Just plain old boring chicken, and nobody wants that. So let's add about a cup to a cup and a half of your favorite barbecue sauce. And for good measure, let's add a fourth cup of brown sugar to sweeten this up a little bit more. No need to stir. Just put your lid on lock, turn your valve to the ceiling position for pressure cooker mode, and venting for slow cooker. For pressure cooker mode, press the poultry button. The time will auto-populate to 15 minutes, and then press start. And if you want to slow cook your chicken, just press the slow cook button. The time will auto-populate on high for four hours, and press start. And if you truly want to cook it low and slow, press the slow cook button. Press the temp adjust button to low setting. The time will auto-populate to eight hours, and then press start. When the timer goes off, do a natural pressure release, open up the lid, shred with bear claws or two forks, and you've got some easy and delicious homemade barbecue chicken ready to serve. Put it on some buns for some barbecue sandwiches, and if you're feeling a little fancy, add a little bit of coleslaw. If you like this recipe, please go give it a big thumbs up, and make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you never miss an episode on Crock-Pot Empire. Thank you so much, Alicia, for your request. If you have a request, make sure to comment down below and I'll make sure to put it on my list. And let's get social. Come find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, where I'm always posting my life, favorite products, and even more recipes. Thanks so much for watching. See you right back here next time on Crock-Pot Empire.